What's up, people? This is Kyoto here. Welcome to my MA haul video of July 2019. And uh, boy, it's been a while. I think last time I actually made a haul video that wasn't from a convention or you know, convention haul slash swag video was uh, back in April or March. So you know, it's almost the end of July now. So there's been a huge time gap between here and there. Like what, five, five, four months? So here I am with another haul video to show you guys this cool stuff that I got through those months. Alright, just for a heads up really quick, uh, don't expect a lot of haul videos or a lot of big stuff as much anymore. I don't really have the space in my room as I used to, so, you know, all my haul videos are just going to be, uh, adequate, I guess you could say. <laughs> Anyways, moving forward, show you guys my manga pickups. So the first manga that I picked up is One Punch Man Volume 3, so I got this at Half Price Bookstore for about $5. And uh, for anyone that's trying to get into collecting anime, mangas, those stuff, uh, those uh, types of stuff, I recommend going to Half Price Bookstore because you can find some really good mangas and animes for, in good conditions for half the price. And this was in really good shape and pretty much $5 it's a steal so anyone that's trying to get into it, you can save a lot of money just going to Half Price Bookstore and finding ones that are in good shape so recommend that. Next. I got volume 16 of Haganai. I love my Haganai. Uh, pretty much, there's not much to say. I'm not sure if the light novel ended or not. I know the manga's still going on and I wish to see more because uh, I remember watching season 1 back in like high school and season 2 in college. I loved it and I think season 2, st after season 2 is uh, pretty much Reading volume 13 is where it picks up after season 2, so you want to know further on on the character developments, definitely pick up, uh, pick up 13 and above for Haganai, so check that out. And uh, this is new for my pickups, but I got the Quintessential Quintuplet, so I love this series so much, favorite harm by far. And pretty unique story, not a lot of fillers, which is really good because one of the things I hate about Harm is a lot of fillers that ties no plot in the story, you know, on finding out. And this has like, you know, it's a Harm, so you try to figure out which girl the main character will fall in love with and marry. But this has like a higher, you know, detective in a way, like, I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways... It, Definitely would recommend people to pick this up. I got volume 1. That's volume 4. Oh, best girl by the way. You'll fall in love with Miku. Volume 3 and volume 2. So, picked up 4 volumes so far. So, can't wait to pick up more of these later in the future when, um, you know, they're in stock. So, and when I said pick up more, I meant like more of the newer volumes. So, so far I think only 4 volumes are out at the moment. So, can't wait for that. And lastly, the last manga that I picked up is Grand Blue Dreaming. So this is volume 7, 5, and 6. So yeah, it's not really in order, but picked up three volumes of Grand Blue Dreaming. I highly recommend everyone just to read this. This is like comedy gold here. So one of the fun funniest mangas read so far. Highly recommend that. Quintessential Quintuplets by far two of my favorite mangas I'm reading so far so anyways there are my mangas for those months uh this is kind of unique but here is my CD album pickups so first one is Supercell so this is one which features the first opening of Monogatari series the first opening and uh, this is from uh, Yahara no Session, as you can see right here. And uh, the two similarities between these two albums is actually these ones are sung by Yanagi Nagi. Well, this is her album specifically, and this is Supercell. But she actually Yanagi Nagi was the one that actually sang the Monogatari uh, opening, the first one. And this is the album. And the reason why actually pick these two up and oh yeah I forgot but I got shiny days from Asaka so um, yeah the reasons why I actually picked up these CD albums are for the fact that I'm going to MA Revolution within the next month 
and at MA Revolution there are two guests and as you can clearly tell from my tone uh, Yanagi Nagi as well as Asaga are actually the two special guests that are coming to MA Revolution so you know I had to pick these up just to get these signed by them by those two and I love your hard no session so I love I fell in love with the opening for this and Mono Gatari's opening so can't wait to get these two signed specifically and also uh, was it Lazy Camp or Camp Lazy? I don't know what it's called, but you know, people fell in love with this. She's coming, shiny days, you know how it is. Alright, jumping into animes. Um, I try to avoid buying animes as much just for the fact that, you know, kills a lot of my space, kills a lot of space in my room, as well as the cost because they are not cheap. And when you go find animes for a good deal, you jump on that boat. So, first one. Full Metal Panic, Invisible Victory. Uh, this one, I just love Full Metal Panic in general. And, you know, I have a history of Full Metal Panic. I even met the creator and the voice actors of Full Metal Panic, if you guys haven't seen that from last year. So, pick this bad boy up. And the list, this is the limited edition. So, this comes with the 80 page art book, uh, two special audio dramas, as you can see right here. So, this is a pretty cool limited edition, especially from Funimation, because Funimation's limited editions are usually just a chip, chipboard art cover, but, you know, they're actually doing fairly well in actually pulling thought into their limited edition, so I'm pretty happy with that. And speaking of putting thoughts, this one's actually a pretty cool one, but Darling in the Fran limited edition. So this is a slipcover one, as you can see of me pulling- oh, the slipcover. Here it is. Anyways, this is a limited edition part one. This one features the art or the storytelling book that is featured in the anime. And as well as like eight postcards of all the kids that are in the series. So there's that. So I haven't actually truly uh, actually opened this up yet, but from my point of view of this limited edition, this one's actually pretty cool. Just for how it's designed and it's kind of surprising too, just for the fact that I don't think Darlene and the Friend was such a huge hit. Just from the standpoint of Studio Trigger, because Studio Trigger has been on a roll with Girl La Gone, Kill La Kill, uh, all other sorts. But Darlene and Friend, uh, definitely not a bad one. Definitely not the best one, that's all I'm going to say. Definitely did enjoy it. Could have been better, but I had to pick this up because limited edition might get sold out, so. Whatever opportunity comes by, you go for it, as I always say. And speaking of Studio Trigger, I actually picked up a limited edition Kill a Kill Volume 1. So, the funny thing is, the reason why I actually picked this up, even though this is really old now, is for the fact that the voice actors are actually coming to Anime Revolution as I talked about how I talk about the CD albums. The voice actor, her voice actor, as well as her voice actor are coming, the Japanese voice actors, not the American ones. Uh, I it would be cool if both the American and the Japanese voice actors came. That would be an awesome experience, but so far it's really awesome getting uh, Japanese guests because they're usually hard to come by. But moving forward to the game halls or the game pickups, uh, first game I picked up is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. So this has been one of the games I've been waiting for for some time now for past two, three years since this announcement. Uh, this is a game from the original creator of Castlevania. A game by Koji Igarashi. And if you love Castlevania or you love any Metroidvania style games, this is the game to pick up because this is about $33, $35 online or at store. And definitely worth the investment if you're into this style type of game. So I definitely had a fun amazing time with this. I remember streaming this about like multiple times and if you guys haven't checked out my stream it'll be right here. But anyways, moving forward, definitely pick this up if you're a fan of that. Love this game. And the last thing I picked up in my gaming pickups is Persona Q2. So you know it's still in the shrink wrap. I don't think I'm planning on opening this anytime soon. Uh, I been uh, not pretty much I've been off of playing handheld games a while now because I've been too busy and I mostly play out of master on my phone that's the only game I play on my 
you know, handheld, I guess you could say. But it's still a pretty cool pickup because no matter what, I'm a huge fan of Persona. So anything Persona related for games or something from Atlas, Persona or uh, Catherine, I'm definitely going to pick them up no matter what. So yeah, I got the limited edition for Persona Q2. Oh, what's it called? New Cinema Labyrinth. So pretty with, happy with that. Moving on to the list. Here's going to be my figure pickups. So for figures, I'm actually cutting a lot of figures. Uh, not like physically cutting, but like cutting from buying because I don't really have much of space in my room as I mentioned before. So I kind of want some walking space in my room. And also I don't really have much place to put it in my room in the first place. So there's that. But first things first, this awesome Simon Nendroid from Gurren Lagann. So this is probably one of the coolest boxes that I gotten. So Here's Simon, or Simon, as they call him in the English dub for some reason. But anyways, I hope to get the giant robot body to include with this, because this is by far, like I said, one of the coolest boxes that I got as an Android. So, happy with that. Next up, I got this Albedo Android from Overlord series. So. This one's just kind of a little weird, not for the fact that, you know, it's a weird ninja or anything, like, anything special about it. It's for the fact that I accidentally bought two of them, so I actually have two amiibos, or not amiibos, uh, nendroids of these, so, you know, I'm planning on selling one to my friend, and, or selling to someone that may be interested, but, yeah, I, I messed up and accidentally bought two, so, that's my mistake right there. And finally, oh, the heaviest one. Not really. It's a prize crane item. So, <laughs> card capture Sakura. So this one I'm happy for. Not for the fact that you know I have it. It's for the fact that I didn't have to pay for it because my friends actually won that. Actually, the one that won this for me at a uh, crane item. So you know it's from EXQ. EXQ kind of higher quality band presto crane items I think so pretty happy and yeah look at the qualities quality's pretty good for a figure that's usually about $20 or so so yeah that's pretty much all the figures that I got and so I'll show you guys last thing in this haul video before everything's wrapped up as usual uh, I actually got s some mail not fan mail but Ami Ami mail so uh, this came recently about three weeks ago. I was planning on doing it, uh, opening of it when I made a new haul video, which is right now. So, you know, finally came. Of course, there's some rips here just because this is where my receipt and my information is. So I don't want people to stalk me. But let's start opening this bad boy and see what's inside because honestly, I don't ever pay attention to what I order anymore at this point. So. Uh, I gotta be careful because sometimes I'm not sure if they place the items on top. Uh. Oh look, this busted paper of Ami Ami's poster girl. Yeah, that's got to be here. Ooh. Wait, that's literally empty box. Wait, is it literally just empty box? Wait, 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 wait. Is there something in here? Wait, wait, wait. Is, is there something in here or is it just a literally empty box? I'm kind of curious now. What is this? Oh, wait. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so. <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> oh, I'll show you guys the first thing. I think it's in here. Oh. 
So, first things first. I bought this Goblin Slayer limited edition Blu-ray from Japan. So this is just Japanese limited edition Blu-ray. So, get a cool look at that because it's definitely going to be different from the American one. And that is pretty sick, you have to admit. So, take a good look at that. So, what was in that box is... I forgot that because I bought it bef on pre-order that it came with a bonus and the bonus was this poster of the priestess. So this is a poster of the priestess changing her socks. This is pretty cute. She's pretty hot. And there it is. This is the pretty much bonus item with my pre-order of Goblin Slayer Volume or semi Edition Blu-ray Volume thing so anyways that's sick I didn't I forgot I totally forgot about that and yeah, I totally forgot it was Demon Slayer uh, Goblin Slayer and what the heck oh and it also came with this if you can see it I think this is a pass, train pass of Goblin Slayer. So this is where you would put your, um, pretty much in Japan, they will have cards and you use this card to swipe into getting into the train. So yeah, I got a Goblin Slayer pre-bonus pre one. So I guess this came along with it. So that's pretty awesome. Give me a lot of cool freebies. Oh, now I remember why this box was long, so. This actually comes with a wall, or I bought a wall scroll from as uh, just give it a little guess, but I bought a wall scroll from Yahari no Session, uh, Yahari no Session series. So here's my wall scroll. I think her name is Yuzumi. Ah, oh, man, but there it is. So. Yeah, this is, uh, I believe, a string wall scroll, so I definitely gotta get this hung up in my room, but yeah, there is my Ami Ami package. That is pretty sweet, so this wall scroll, oh my god. I'm still surprised about this poster a lot and, you know, the pre-bonus uh, pre items, so, woo! And I think for my next pickup, I need to go get my uh, Goblin Slayer novels because... I've been liking on uh, Goblin Slayer uh, books for a while. I think the last volume I read was six. Let me check. No, it was five. Wow, that's such a long time from now. Anyways, guys, I'll pretty much wrap it up for my MA haul of July 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment below what you think the coolest thing I got in this haul video was. And also, comment what you got throughout this month as well. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what you guys got. Maybe it could be awesome probably be jealous about it or I just probably already have it who knows anyways um, you're probably going to be a, seeing a decline of haul videos from my channel uh, mostly due to the fact that as I mentioned Ray I don't really have that much stuff so I'm trying to figure out you know not trying to figure out what content to make but try to have the willpower to make other content because I'm uh, I'm usually really busy I'm having a lot of stuff to do especially with planning for Japan this September so that and also going to three more conventions to work at so anyways there's that as well so i'll see you guys next video i'll catch you guys around and uh see ya